barbecued tuna steaks with a Moroccan broccoli and bacon salad. Super delicious. Let's make it. Let's start with the dressing. So the dressing is super easy. It's a one cup of coconut cream. Moroccan seasoning, quite a bit. Three tablespoons going in there. Use whichever one you like. Of course, I'm using my one. Any half decent supermarket's got it. One and a half tablespoons of lime juice. Limes are expensive at the moment. So I'm using this wicked juice that I got at the supermarket. Fish sauce, you've got to have this in. There we go. And the recipe is in the description below. Orange, right? Orange zest. So I've got one whole orange. I'm going to put about half the zest in here. And that's the oil from the zest is going to come out and put a delicious orange flavour to add to our Moroccan dressing in there. And there you go. No grating fingers off. And let's give that a whiz up. Dressing is done. We'll keep it in the fridge, but I do want to serve it at room temperature when I drizzle it over our salad. I want goji berries in there. They're an antioxidant, but get a couple of tablespoons of lemon or lime juice over them. And because they're dried, it'll soak up all that lime juice and you'll get these bursts of, you know, goji explosions through your salad. Next, we've got some broccoli. I've got some water over there heating up. I want the water boiling to cook the broccoli. We're just going to blanch it. And literally, we're just getting our broccoli into florets. Let's break them into sort of the size pieces that you want. Now, I need an ice bath already. So I've got some cold water. I'm just going to put some big ice cubes in there so I have this water really cold because I want to stop the cooking process of the broccoli once it comes out of that boiling water. Healthy pinch of salt into the water. In goes our broccoli, make sure it's all submerged in the water. And we're gonna give it two minutes in rapid boiling water. Strain them off. And they go to the ice bath. These guys have been in here for a few minutes, so let's get rid of all that cold water. And get as much of the water out as we can. Now, you could use a tea towel to dry these off, or I'm going to use a salad spinner. Nothing like a bit of gold horsepower. Quite a bit, look at that. These in there. It's pretty hard to beat any salad that has crispy bacon. I'm using rindless streaky bacon into a medium to hot pan. I'm going to control the heat so that I don't burn the bacon. I want it to be golden, but I want it to be crispy. So I'll start with a medium high heat and then I'll turn it down. And turning it every now and again. Bacon now crispy on a paper towel to absorb any excess fat. I love it. Our dressing is done. Let's cut some tomatoes up. I've got cherry tomatoes. And they go. Chickpeas are great for us. I've drained the can off. Goji berries soaking in some lime juice. You could use lemon juice. Now they're soft and they're going to be little bursts of flavour. I'm going to put the juice in as well. If you're a spicy fan, you could chop a red or green chilli up super fine and fold this through. Or you could even put it into the Moroccan dressing. I will just chop that up and see how it just crumbles up now, which is exactly what I want. Got the tuna out of the fridge because putting cold tuna into a pan or on a barbecue grill, no good. You've got to let it get to room temperature. We don't want to have icy cold tuna in the middle, do we? Because we're going to serve it rare to medium rare. Now I want to make a dressing to put over the top of our tuna. I've got some Italian leaf parsley here. Just scrunch it up, we'll put that quick little chopper into a bowl. Now I like chilli, you could leave this out, so I'm just going to have a little bit of red and green chilli through there. And it will add some colour to 
over the top of our tuna, as much or as little or none if you like, depending on how you feel about it all. Now, you could take some Dijon mustard, whatever mustard you like, I'm gonna keep those. They'll go in the freezer, they'll last well in the freezer. I am gonna get this smoky mustard and we'll get just under about half a tablespoon in there. I have got some guava balsamic. So I'm gonna put equal quantities of one, two, three, four, and now four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now, let's just have a sneak of some salt in there, just a pinch. And that is just a little dressing that we're gonna have over the tuna once it's cooked. Right, tuna. I got a big piece. I like to serve about 180 grams to 200 grams. Moisture is our enemy. When we're cooking steak or anything that's going into the pan or on the grill, you don't want it to be moist. So I'm gonna give it a good dab down and get rid of all that moisture. Nicely down. We're doing the Moroccan dish, right? A Moroccan broccoli and bacon salad. We better add a little bit of Moroccan to our tuna. Some extra virgin olive oil. Get some cracked pepper on there. Sprinkle of salt. There we go. And some Moroccan seasoning, which is magically appearing for me. Because I've got a little guest with me today who is going to do a little tasting with me soon. Now, I just want to pop that in there. There we go. The other side too. And you can move it around so you get all of that goodness off there. The barbecue is heating up. My trusty old barbecue that just keeps going and keeps going. Now, a little extra virgin over the top of these guys. Great pepper, do your salt. A little bit of that Moroccan seasoning. You can use Moroccan, you could use Mexican. If you have a look up here, you can see I've got a range of seasonings. And let's cook some tuna. So the key before we start barbecuing is to be organised. I've got a plate to put our cooked product on. I've got something I can leverage it off the grill. I've got some tongs. Everything is ready inside. Always uh, just a quick, make sure the grill is good and clean. We don't need to put any oil or anything on there because we have it on our tuna. Give it a little toss around in that oil. Oh, and all that lovely Moroccan seasoning. The grill is hot and with the lid down, what I love about my barbecue is once the lid's down, it's like cooking in an oven. So you get that halo heat and it's gonna be about 200 degrees. So literally we're gonna be about a minute maximum each side because we want medium rare tuna. And the tuna is at room temperature. Coming up a minute, and you can see that it's cooking up the side of the tuna. You can see it there. More so at the back than this front guy. So I'm going to go, yep, time to turn. Wait a moment or two with these ones. Here we are, we're getting some cooking up the side on this one. Another minute on that side. Where's my beer? No assistant to get me a beer, it's a beautiful day. Look at that, beautiful. And see how easily it comes off the barbecue because we just oiled it and you can see that lovely Moroccan crust we've got on the tuna. How delicious does that look? Tuna is done, it's been resting just a little bit. I've got this beautiful dressing here ready to go. We've got our dressing for our broccoli. Moroccan salad, and you know, as much or as little as you like. And let's just toss that around in there. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful little bowl. And I'm gonna get my fingers under here. And this way it gives your salad that lovely height that we wanna get. Just a few more little ones around the side. The bacon can go on over the top, that crispy bacon. I'm going to save a little bit for later. We've got a couple of different plates here. Serve some of this 
some of that on there. We could cut this or we could do it rustic and just snap it in half like that. See, it's lovely and moist. It's glistening in the middle. And there we go. And if you didn't have this dressing, you could just drizzle a little olive oil and lemon juice. Boom, there we 